That's in the centre as well. Sue, that was fantastic. Morning folks, today MMD are riding to the Cotswolds. We're going to Cheltenham today and uh, tomorrow we're going to Staverton Airport to do a flight simulator, or Sue is going to fly a Boeing 737 I believe tomorrow. And then on Saturday we're off to Fairford for the International Air Tattoo. And hopefully the weather's going to be set fair, but it's forecast for thunderstorms and rain. So I don't know if that will affect the flying Maybe the red arrows won't get off the ground. Anyway, it's a bike trip, so who cares? We're gonna have fun. So I'll check in later. We ride this route to Cheltenham on a regular basis when we go and see Sue's mum and dad, and we always stay at the Premier Inn, and we always book a table at TGI Fridays where they serve fantastic ribs. And also, it's a beautiful riding route through parts of the Cotswolds. The beautiful village of Western Underwood dates back to the 14th century and was home to one of the most famous poets of his day, William Cooper. Yeah, I know, he was a real looker, wasn't he? The halfway point of our trip brings us to the little village of Deddington, where it's time to have a pit stop, stretch your legs and grab a quick coffee.
stop in Deddington on the way to Cheltenham. After Deddington, the next point of interest on our trip to Cheltenham was the delightful little town of Burford. With its medieval bridge and old stone houses, Burford is justifiably called one of the most picturesque towns in England, and often referred to as the gateway to the Cotswolds. The trouble is, because it's so popular, it often gets clogged up with tourists, especially during the summer months. And as a consequence, is often prone to long traffic jams. Still, that's the benefit of being on two wheels.
The reason we stay at the Premier Inn and go to TGI Fridays is because they're both consistent. You know exactly what you're going to get every time. And I've got to say, the ribs are probably the best we've ever had. Oh, the other benefit is it's about 50 yards apart. So after a bottle of wine and a few beers, you can stagger back to your bedroom with ease. After the flight and getting a couple of things sorted out at Performance Triumph, our route took us through the delightful village of Bybury to our eventual stop at the Wick Hill House Hotel and Spa near Stowe on the Wold. Despite being a bit wet and miserable when we arrived in Bybury, it was clear that it's still a beautiful place. In fact, William Morris described it as the most beautiful village in the Cotswolds. One of the village's main tourist spots and overlooking a water meadow on the river is Arlington Row. Apparently, Henry Ford thought that Arlington Row was an icon of England, and on a trip to the Cotswolds, he tried to buy the entire row of houses to ship it back to Michigan. It's also been the backdrop for a few films, including Stardust and Bridget Jones' Diary. Although it didn't look particularly Hollywood today, nevertheless we thought we'd stop, have a wander around and maybe grab a cup of tea. the centre of Bybury, beautiful village in the Cotswolds, on a pretty grey, miserable, wet day. So we've just stopped for a coffee, 
before heading to Stowe where we're staying the night before we head to Furford for the air show tomorrow so this is a little tea shop House Hotel and Spa, and uh, it's a nice hotel actually. In the middle of the Cotswolds, beautiful. Just outside, still on the wall. So let's go and see what it looks like. Wick Hill is an 18th century manor house hotel set in a 50 acre estate and apparently it's got a ward of dining. So, I look forward to that. This is a library. And this is reception. Hello! These two delightful ladies on reception. <laughs> They're here to help me. Uh, okay. The following day we set off for the Royal International Air Tattoo at RAF Fairford because it was only about a 22 minute ride away uh, but committed a schoolboy error and not realising just the scale of uh, the air tattoo it became quickly apparent that it's going to be a very busy and difficult journey to get into. There's a queue started building up several miles away from the air base itself. This is the downside of having a fully loaded GSA with big panniers. RAF Furford is normally a quiet Air Force base situated by a rural village in the heart of the Cotswolds. That is until the air tattoo comes to town. And apparently 
this year they were expecting close to 185,000 people. Yeah, we didn't factor that in when we set off this morning. Having finally arrived, this is where the panniers come into their own by storing all our riding gear so we can wander around with relative comfort. Well, we had a great day and the weather held good and it didn't rain and we decided we'd set off just a little bit earlier so we could beat the traffic and not be sat in interminable traffic jams on the way back to the hotel. As our Cotswold adventure came to a close, we ended up back at Deddington for our usual break and coffee stop. While we were sitting there having a coffee, a very tall man came across and started asking us about the bikes and we just got chatting. Turned out to be Jeff Hill, the famous author and adventurer, well famous to me, because he'd written a book about his Pan American trip called The Road to Gobbler's Knob, and that's a title you don't forget in a hurry. And I read it just before I embarked upon my own Pan American adventure 
in 2010. Well, what a small world. 